Monday Day family, how are you guys doing today? So I am extremely excited about today's topic, how to know whether or not you need therapy. Nine signs that could possibly indicate that you could potentially benefit from a little bit of therapy or a little bit of counseling or just having someone to talk to. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Number one, nothing you've tried seems to have helped or seems to be helping hanging out with your friends, doing your favorite hobby, working out, talking with your family, coping skills that we have that usually work for us when it comes to trying to cope with difficult cases or situations. If you've tried all of those and none of those seem to be helping, then that might be a good indicator that you could potentially benefit from a little bit of counseling or a little bit of therapist. That would be another avenue for you to try uh, at that point. The second sign that could indicate that you could potentially benefit from some counseling or some therapy is you simply want someone to talk to. You simply want someone that's able to listen to you. So as opposed to talking to your friends or your family who a lot of times might have opinions about things or they might try to feel or make you feel better and in doing that not really make you feel better, they make you feel worse. Uh, instead of doing that, when you simply want someone to listen and be non-judgmental and not make the conversation about themselves, a therapist or a counselor could really prove to be the solution for you. A third indicator that counseling or therapy might be a good option for you is if you want to understand yourself better. So being able to understand ourselves is very, very empowering. By seeking the assistance of a therapist or talking to a therapist, we're able to work some things out that normally we might not be able to work out on our own. We're able to dig a little bit deeper in ourselves with that additional support and additional assistance to answer questions that we might not already have the answers to. For example, why do you continue to date men who are unavailable? Or why do loud people bother you? Or why do you always seem to procrastinate? All of these questions can definitely be answered with the help and the support of a counselor or a therapist. If you want to understand yourself better, seeing a counselor might definitely be a good option for you. The fourth reason why counseling or therapy might be a good option for you is if you've experienced trauma, whether it be recently or in your past. So if you recently experienced the death of a loved one, a friend, or you experienced being sexually abused when you were younger, those are all very traumatic events. Even being a part of a car accident is a traumatic event. I was a part of a three car accident and it was a very traumatic experience for me. So any traumatic experiences and any traumatic events that seem to be affecting your life on a daily basis to where it's making it harder or impossible for you to function as you normally would, that would be a very good time and a very good reason to seek out the additional assistance of a counselor or a therapist. Uh, especially if it's kind of getting in the way of things such as work or school, daily activities that you usually would be able to do if you just can't shake this off or shake this particular event off and it seems to really be on your mind and really kind of be getting in the way of how effective or efficient you are, then seeking the additional support from a counselor or a therapist could really, really be a good option for you. A fifth indicator that seeking the help of a therapist or a counselor might be a good option for you is if relationships are difficult for you. If you find relationships to be hard, that could be another reason to seek out additional support. If you find that it's hard for you to keep relationships or it's hard for you to keep friends and you're always getting in conflict with other people or in conflict with 
friends or people that uh, start off being your friends, that might be a good avenue for you to seek out, seek out more assistance and seek out more support in order to really dive in deeper at the roots of those challenges. The reason relationships are difficult often originate from our childhood experiences. If you're finding it hard to be in relationships, talking to a therapist and really tracing the reason back can really, really help shine some light on what the reasons might be. Discussions in your relationship Relationship history can also often shed some light on your current relationships and any conflicts that might be occurring in your current relationships, whether it be with your boss, your family member, or your significant other. It doesn't matter. Uh, seeking the assistance of a therapist and a counselor can really, really help you uncover what some of those experiences might have been that are now in the present affecting your current relationships. Sixth really great indicator that maybe seeking the additional support from a therapist or a counselor might be a good way for you to go is you notice unhealthy behaviors. When you notice yourself doing uh, or acting on some unhealthy behaviors, this might be a good route for you to take. For example, you notice yourself drinking a little bit more or using drugs or it might be something like you notice yourself distancing yourself from other people and now you find yourself just kind of spending most of your time alone. So when you notice certain unhealthy behaviors begin to happen, especially if they haven't been happening before, seeking additional support and assistance from a therapist could definitely be a good option for you. Drinking more or using drugs or making knee-jerk uh, decisions when it comes to relationships or anything else could actually be the sign of a deeper rooted problem. The seventh really good indicator for whether or not counseling or therapy might be a good option for you is do you avoid or actively avoid social situations? If you go out of your way in order to avoid social situations, such as work events, your friends and family, or parties, any type of social gathering, then that could be a good indicator that a counselor or therapist would be a good way for you to go. When being around people makes you anxious and it makes you nervous, that might be an indicator that there might be a few deeper underlying issues that we might have to work with. And in that case, seeking the assistance and the additional support of a counselor or a therapist can come in really, really handy. There might be feelings of perhaps not being good enough or perhaps fear of being judged or being inadequate. Those are all feelings and emotions that counselors can really, really help you target and they can really, really help you work with in order to start moving past those and start living your life. When anxiety, fear, or nervousness starts influencing your life in a way where it's getting in the way of your daily activities and you're actively looking for ways to avoid these situations so it's taking away from your overall efficiency and productivity that's a very good indicator that a counselor could really really be of assistance the eighth indicator for whether or not counseling might be for you is you no longer enjoy doing the things you used to love doing once you stop enjoying things that you used to love doing, that could really mean that there are some underlying issues there that we might have to work with. A therapist can really help you figure out why it is that the things that you used to love, you now no longer enjoy. In reality, it could just be a sign of someone who's stuck in a bad place or stuck in a rut, or it could be a sign of someone who's going through a little bit of a deeper depression. So if you notice that things that you used to enjoy doing, now you no longer enjoy doing, then that is definitely a good indicator 
for perhaps seeking out a therapist or seeking out a counselor for additional support and assistance. A counselor can really help identify the reason why it is that you're feeling stuck in this rut. They can help you identify those reasons and they can also help you identify a plan for moving forward with your life and for kind of getting yourself out of that very challenging, sad, and difficult situation. They help you figure out what it is that's holding you back. And once we figure out what it is that's holding you back, we then create a plan in order to help you move past that and move forward. The ninth and final indicator that a counselor or a therapist might be a good way for you to go is you feel extreme anger and sadness. And by extreme anger and sadness, that essentially means that you are no longer able to necessarily control how angry you get and your reaction to certain events. You just kind of like blow up, for example. Uh, when certain things trigger you or when certain things happen, you kind of explode in a rage of anger or you go into this really, really dark space, this really, really sad space, uh, and you shut yourself out. When you experience those intense type of emotions and you feel as though you're no longer really able to control those, they just kind of happen and they might be situationally triggered, that might be and that's definitely a good indicator that a therapist or a counselor could definitely assist you with those things. Some other symptoms of these things could also be eating or sleeping more or less than usual or interacting less with family and friends, so withdrawing and pulling back. Any of these symptoms are indicators that a counselor could definitely assist you in this area and provide you with additional support. Now, if you find that you are now at a stage that you're questioning whether or not your life is worth it or worth living, please at that point definitely reach out to someone, definitely reach out to a counselor because we can assist you with that. Please reach out immediately if you find that you're having those type of feelings. If you just know someone that is, or if you have a friend that seems to be exhibiting any one of the nine things that I mentioned, please reach out to them and maybe refer this video to them uh, and just try to at least extend that arm forward and help them uh, when it comes to whatever it is 